I'm on a server core installation of Windows Server 2016. The server's name is WebCore01. Let's just go ahead and run PowerShell. And I'm going to do a get dash Windows feature. So we can see that our web server is installed. There it is. It's installed. And now I want to remotely administer this with the IIS admin tool. So in order to do that, we need to install this management service. It's the web-mgmt-service feature. So to install that, we'll just use the install-windows feature commandlet minus name, web-mgmt-service. Okay, that installation is complete. No restart is needed. And that actually installed a WMSVC service. Next, we're going to want to run regedit. And we're going to go to HK local machine software Microsoft web management and server and we're gonna to wanna to go up here to enable remote management by default it's actually turned off at a zero which is false we wanna set it to true which is one so I'll go ahead and close out of that next we're gonna to wanna to set our WMS VC service startup type to automatic so that if the server reboots the service will automatically start and we can remotely administer it now we can go ahead and start the service with the start dash service commandlet. And that's actually it from the web server side. So from another server with a GUI like this one that I'm on now, DC01 here, we can go up to tools and launch our IIS manager. And go up to file, connect to server. And we'll go ahead and connect to webcore01. And type an account that has permissions to administer it. We will get a certificate warning if we want. We can view the certificate and actually install it if we don't want it to show up again. And click connect. If we want to give this connection name a, you know, a different name, I'm just going to leave it at the server name. Go ahead and click finish. And there it is. So now we can remotely administer our server core installation of IIS from a server. Now from a desktop, a Windows 10 desktop, there are a few extra steps. So here I am on a Windows 10 desktop and I'm just gonna right click. Let's open up our control panel and let's go down to uninstall a program and we're actually gonna go to turn Windows features on or off. And let's go down to internet information services and check the box for IIS management console. Click OK. Okay, that installed successfully. Next, we're going to want to search for IIS Manager for Remote Administration 1.2. And go ahead and download that. I'm using a 64-bit version of Windows 10, so I'll go ahead and check that option. And click Next. I'll just go ahead and save it. And run it. I'll just click Next to the splash screen, accept the terms, click Next. Next again and install and finish. Now we can go down to our start menu and I'll just go ahead and scroll down to administrative tools and go down to our Internet Information Services Manager. Expand it out. Now we can go to File Connect Server. We'll connect to WebCore01. Type in our account that has permissions. Again, we can install this certificate if we don't want to see that warning again. Click OK and click Connect and Finish. And there it is. Now we can remotely administer our web server from Windows 10. And I hope this sample training from ITDVDs.com helped you. If you'd like to learn more, please visit ITDVDs.com.